Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's Tools, Tips, and Talk, where we'll talk about info for the knife maker. In today's episode, my new Rockwell tester. Let's check it out. So I wanted to give you a little introduction into my new toy, which is this HRC tester or hardness tester. So um, this is basically for testing your knife and, and getting a precise measurement on what the hardness is in the HRC scale. This will do A, B, and C, but um, for knives and that kind of thing, you always want to use C. So it's a pretty simple machine. There's kind of an anvil here. There's a diamond um, indenter here, and it's really going to put a little dimple on the knife. And um, how far that dimple goes in will tell you um, the hardness. It comes with a bunch of predetermined um, uh, little pieces here. So this one is 61.7 HRC. Um, so this is kind of a known, a known one we use as a uh, as a test piece. So if I put this in here. All right, so uh, here we are. Here we go. What I'm going to do is raise the anvil until this little marker, the little needle, goes to that red mark. Okay, and then we zero this out, and then we put some load on it by hitting this lever at the bottom. So what that does is actually release a bunch of weights at the bottom and it pushes that diamond into the um, into the steel and I'm just waiting for it to cycle. Okay, so now I'm going to release it and it should go to the mark. All right, so it's right at 67 plus a, maybe a needle width if you guys can see that. So, um, wait a second. Sorry, 61.7, um, and it's it's right at the 62 mark, so it's within the um, uh, the range here. So let's try another one. And you can see it's put little little uh, dimples on the, uh, the front. So when you do this, this will mark your knife. So typically you're going to do this after you um, you do your heat treat, after you do your quench. You have to um, grind it down to smooth steel, do your test, and then you're going to do your final grinding to take out the dimple. Uh, and then you probably want to do this again after it's tempered, um, just to see uh, you know, what your, hardening, your final hardness is. Just for fun, I have this file guide from Jantz that's supposed to be hardened steel, so let's see how hard it is. All right, so we're at about 56, 56 and a half. That's not bad. And you can see it put a tiny, tiny little dimple there. So the machine came with the uh, this big anvil. It comes with a couple of um, smaller anvils like this, in case you have you do smaller things. It even comes with an angled one. Um, in case you do something that has an odd shape because it's really supposed to be a flat surface. Uh, it comes with a bunch of test pieces so you can uh, um, test your work and also it comes with another um, indent which is for the B scale which I will probably never use. Uh, when you get one of these machines it, <laughs> it takes a little while to uh, to get it ready. There's a whole bunch of little plastic blocks inside. Um, this just lifts off, but there's a whole bunch of little um, plastic blocks inside that you need to remove. Uh, the Grizzly instructions are not very good um, when it comes to that. Their pictures are really fuzzy and hard to see what they're talking about. But um, I got through it. It took me, I don't know, maybe half an hour to, uh, to get it set up. You do need to have it on a table with about a um, 
inch and a half hole in the bottom because if you do anything large this piston actually goes through the bottom so uh, I built this separate table because uh, you're not supposed to move it or shake it or anything like that so I wanted a separate standalone table for it so it'd be a good addition to the shop we'll be able to um, send out knives with exactly what the hardness of those knives is not a guess anymore so cool tool Thanks for joining me today on this Triple T, folks. Uh, I'm excited to start using the Rockwell tester uh, and having an exact measurement on my knives as they go out. So thanks for joining, folks. We'll see you on the next one.